Hey everyone, Apocalypse Hub here. This is just a general review of um, the Emerson tablet uh, that I unboxed yesterday. Um, didn't really make a lot of changes with it, just added a 4 gigabyte micro SD card to expand the storage. And I don't think I'm going to be loading a Google Play Store on this at all. There's really no need for it. So what you're seeing here is the, the default home screen. Haven't messed around with it yet, except for the browser, the gallery, the camera. Um, everything works perfectly fine. Browser actually responds pretty quickly. It didn't have any um, issues connecting to the Wi-Fi. What you're seeing here is the mobile YouTube site, which was one of the first things I tested out. Let's see, let's put something random there. Actually, you know what? Let's exit out of there. We'll do a review of individual apps in the Emerson tablet later. Back up. That's the default home screen. Haven't really done much customization to this one. This one is actually not for me, it's for our little kiddo so downloaded a couple of games that we thought he might he might like and tested it out first Angry Bird works perfectly fine here there's no lag whatsoever this is the original Angry Bird just to show you guys real quick uh, downloaded a couple of um, car racing games there's no lag in that either so and the screen is surprisingly crisp the image there's really barely any glare. Let me skip this. Just want to show you guys. I think I have the volume down. So let's see. That's a little weird. The volume rocker didn't it's still unmute for some reason. Oh, that's because this the mute setting is on on the actual game. So let me unmute that. Replay this. There you go. I was gonna say I didn't have any issues last night with volume, so Oh well that sucked. Try one more time. Kind of hard to see. I'm looking through this through my viewfinder, my camera, so that's a little better. So there you go. Runs fine, no lag. So let me back out of this. Yep. What else? Uh, I've got uh, Raging Thunder here. I've got a uh, assistive speech. Uh, app that I downloaded because he's autistic so we want him to use this for that too and you've got the default mobile market here which is I mean it has everything that he can need he possibly needs he doesn't really need all the super fancy stuff I actually uh, researched how to install the Google market here which is it's like a three-step kind of process doesn't seem to be complicated that complicated but I don't think I'm gonna mess with it it's perfectly fine the way it is and let's see these are the apps that came with it Facebook it's already been you know when, when you turn it on this is what comes straight out of the box you got a kayak I don't know what he's gonna need that for I'm probably just gonna take it out movie phone and gadget um, let's see let's see file manager New York Times, you have the Office Suite here, um, you know, the standard Android stuff. Uh, Twitter, you have TuneIn Radio, SoundHound. I actually had to download the actual YouTube app um, because the mobile YouTube is what was in it originally. And I didn't really want that. So just to show you guys. 
see how fast it loads. Um, but Lion King, because he loves that movie. There you go. Let's see, let's see. Lion King Circle of Life. Or, yeah. Just click on that. Switch to high quality even gets better. So, just to show you, YouTube works fine. So that's that's the main thing that I check because that's what he's probably going to use quite a bit. Um, battery time. We were testing all sorts of games on it yesterday. Uh, I just say about what two hours, right? Yeah. Two hours of nothing but downloading uh, games. I'm talking about like heavy duty games, not like kitty games, like just heavy on uh, images and all that that kind of stuff. By the time we were done, I still had about 50, 52 or 50, 56 percent battery. This is on a full charge, first time we charge it up. And uh, so based on that, it's probably going to have a battery life of maybe like five hours. If you use a lot of, you know, heavy apps for just basic web browsing, probably longer on a full charge. So it's not too bad for a tiny little uh, gadget. This is about the uh, size of my phone. So the screen is, I think it's a little bit larger than 4.3. Um, size of a Nintendo DS because I got a, I couldn't find a proper uh, case for it. So just pick this up and guess what? This is for a Nintendo DS. Kind of just eyeballed it, but you see how this fits perfectly in there. Look. Just like that, with a little room to spare for extra peripherals in there. Maybe you can throw in your cords. The thing with this, just so you know, it does not come with the charger. You're gonna need to charge it via the USB cable. Only downside to that. It does have uh, a number and a place you can order it from on the instruction manual. But it's, I mean, it's a charger. They should have just put it in there, in my opinion. You know, for 60 bucks. Instead of making you order it. But again, I guess it's no big deal. You just charge it, plug it in the USB. But still, it's a um, you know, minor inconvenience. Kind of silly that they didn't include that in there. Um... But this is what it looks like default default screen. I haven't changed much on it. I mean, he can he can change it to whatever he wants to change it to. A camera is not the best, but under good lighting conditions, it should uh, it's perfectly usable. You can take pictures and video of it. Um, didn't bother to try Tango with it because I know it it'll work. Uh, I don't really want him to have Tango in this. I don't want him having access to. I don't, creepy people calling him, that sort of thing. So, uh, I installed it, but I took it out. Uh, let's see, what else? Storage. Storage is fine. A lot of this, the, the apps that I downloaded, I moved it to the SD card, micro SD card. Which is 4 gigs. Plenty of stuff. Uh, just popped it in there. Recognized it immediate, immediately. And so, that's basically it, I think. Uh, highly recommended, sixty dollars, basic tablet for not just for kids. Actually, I mean, adults can use this too for entertainment. I'm sure if you wanted to, you can probably load Netflix here. Uh, if you put the Google Play in there, if you want to watch movies here, or uh, just for casual uh, surfing, checking email, that sort of stuff. It's so basically like a phone, an Android phone, but without the phone capabilities, unless you put in Tango or something like that. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching. This is the Emerson 4.3 tablet.